Another VOD. This time against Plank Toon. Gold Division. Playing against a Gold Division again. Makes these wins feel a little bit more cheap. But also, to be... Oh, that's a terrible hand. I should not have two of those Glaives in my deck. Actually, it'd probably be pretty good to have uh, the Sword of Mechazor in here. Or the Chase of Mechazor. The one that is uh, impervious to um, spells. Or even Lionar's card. Legendary card that makes your units impervious to spells. So he gets off a pretty good uh, play here. But I can almost immediately get rid of it. And then I just move forward. Um... Even though it looks like I do have pretty good board control, you have to realize that all he has to do is move it behind one of my units uh, and then attack the other one, and then he almost immediately has board control again. Which isn't... It's... it's You definitely want to keep Songhai's minions off the board, but you have to realize there's not a lot you can do against like unexhaust and flying cards and range cards that he has. So if you don't necessarily have board control, you can still win so long as you... Shut it down before it gets out of control. And you don't want to take a whole lot of damage early. So he goes for just getting rid of the 1-4. Which is exactly what that 1-4 is for. <laughs> that 1-4 is for. Uh, just kind of there to soak up damage. And if it can survive long enough to get buffed. Then that's great too. So he goes for the unexhaust. That leaves me in a position where I'm like okay what do I do. Uh, so this is what I call getting uh, an effective armor off. Okay, this is very important. Wait. No. Okay, typically... So that unit has backstab. And I was actually backstabbed right there. Um, and what you want to do is... You want to move out, out of that backstab. Uh, so uh, I, I guess against him it doesn't matter because he gains an effect after the backstab happens. Um, but typically, backstab units will do more damage, and that would increase the damage done to you. Uh, so, just as a note, when facing backstab, the counterattack will be backstab. At least, I'm almost 100% certain on that. Or maybe I've just, maybe it's just kind of, I've always thought it worked that way, and never actually experimented uh, if it did. I think I've always remembered to get out of the way and never be counter backstabbed. Uh, but I, I think as a base level, you probably should just kind of watch out for that kind of stuff. They have a, a way of sneaking up on you when you think you've got, you know, like the game in your hand. And then you take one or two too much damage and then you lose. <laughs> I've certainly had it happen. <laughs> uh, so right now, this is pretty much what this aggro line our deck is about. Uh, which I probably didn't mention this at this video. This is aggro line art, right? I have lots of low attack, high health minions that I try to get on the field... Uh, block your enemy in, limit their options, kind of like heal and R, except instead of effect, uh, efficient trading through heals and spells, you do efficient trading through buffing and loss of having lots of minions buffed through each other. Uh, so like that 2-3 that over there on the left side, it's a pretty key character. That 1-4 there at the top is a key character because it has such a high health uh, and low mana cost. Uh, and then, of course, you know, you've got your 4-3 there at the bottom. He's your infantry unit that, uh, if you can get a buff on him, then that, that is fantastic. But it's not necessary. He's just there to kind of help you with that early game trading without the buffs. When you get into the mid game is when you start throwing on Divine Bonds that, uh, uh, when you start throwing on the plus one, plus one to all minions, plus one attack to surrounding minions, plus two attack to your uh, minions around your general and stuff like that. And then you start wearing down your uh, enemy general while maintaining board control. Very important. You want board control. If you lose it, you lose the game. This deck is not a burst down deck. It's not a burst. It's not a play guard. Buff it all the way up and then burst them down. It's not like that. It's not like Songhai. It's actually kind of the inverse of Songhai. So he has 18 health here. I don't think I can actually finish him off just yet. Maybe I do. I don't exactly remember. So four, five, six. I think I actually do kind of figure it out. Divine Bond, the highest health minion I have. That's eight plus six, 14. Plus three, 17. Plus two is 19. So I think that was actually just enough. One over. And there you go. 
Agro Linear. Perfect example right there. And we're back. Now we're up against an Abyssian. I actually haven't been up against an Abyssian in quite a while. Uh, we're going back to Helenar. I think because I was kind of getting a little salty that I was losing so much at such a high rank. Which, I mean, I'm not saying people at high ranks are bad. It's just... Like, typically their decks are more basic. And to lose to a deck that high up... And it, it, it kind of makes you feel like, oh, okay, it's just because I am bad, not because their deck is just better. As opposed to when you get into the, like, rank 0 to 5, rank 0 to 10, whatever. You know, you're seeing legendaries every game, and that can be pretty frustrating. It's just another side of frustration. But at least you can chalk it up to, oh, you know, damn legendaries kind of thing. <laughs> so I think in the next few games, we're going to be seeing a lot of these little minions called Jaxi. They're kind of annoying to deal with, um, but they're not that bad. Uh, so my hand right now is not that great. I don't have anything to heal with. Oh, okay, because I just used it. What did I heal? Did I use that on accident? What happened? <laughs> Why did I do that? <laughs> That sounds. It seems like a pretty dumb thing to do to put that two three out with nothing, especially considering that I'm a healing R. Uh, so I think I kind of looked out here to grab the Arcolite right there. I can instantly get rid of his little dude, but also to worry about it's going to spawn the range unit that he can use immediately next turn. Uh, so I go ahead and put down the Sunriser. I don't particular. I don't really like doing that. Because uh, it's at such a risk of just getting destroyed and losing that card. Um, and there's lots of low cost uh, heal cards. So, so to have to place it down to prep it for another turn. Uh, people usually just get rid of it immediately. Uh, something like that. Ah, oh, god that hurts so much. Yeah, so she got rid of it immediately. And she's only propelling her, her board control uh, pretty far. But I do have a Tempest, which I think I pretty much use right here. Uh, yeah, I like a Tempest play. He gets rid of his... Oh, what? Oh, wow. I didn't. I think I would have Tempest right there. I guess I really wanted that unit to survive. I even got rid of the Tempest. Wow. Okay. Uh, so I attack it and then Arcolite. Yeah, okay. I guess that's not a terrible decision. I get to keep my my dude up there. And I play a unit. Yeah, okay. I guess that's a better solution. Oh, that's not good. Okay, so Holy Immolation is probably going to be coming in here. Yeah, I think I'd Holy Immolation. Yeah, okay. I'd definitely Holy Immolation here. Play that two mana, and then heal, and then get my guy into position up there. Heal the guy, right? And then Holy Immolation. Yeah, yeah, and he gets a buff, and he gets a buff. Yeah, okay. This is good. I like this. Uh, and I'm pretty, I think I already mulligan this turn, uh, but if I were to mulligan again, I actually don't think I would. Okay, this is a great hand right here. I've got the health potion, which is gonna buff my guy. I've got the Windblade Adept and the the uh, Silver Guard Knight, which is just you know infantry to place. And I've got the Emerald Rejuvenator, so this is a really good hand. I don't foresee myself losing this. I think actually she probably, judging by the time of this video, she uh, uh, surrenders almost immediately. Should be here in the next couple seconds. She does only have eight health. Okay, there we go. Yeah, uh, I I guess I just I got on a really good uh, foot right there, and the hand.